budget crisis could mean the end of some badly needed programs. Thousands of people who are at risk of losing critical services for the disabled made their voices heard today at the state capitol. News nice John Jordan is live with the story for us tonight. John? Well, Amy, to try and prevent losing those millions of dollars, the disabled, along with supporters for the disabled, flooded the capitol here earlier today. Their hope to put a face on to put a face on cuts they say have the potential to be life-threatening. They gathered outside the Capitol, inside the Capitol, and in legislative offices, all in an effort to put a stop on what could be devastating budget cuts for the disabled. And in a way, this is kind of a death march, because if any of the services are cut, it could literally mean death for people. As it stands, the Developmental Disabilities Services Division is looking at cuts over 14% for next fiscal year. A cut so deep, the division would be faced with losing $72 million and for some disability services to be eliminated. Certain services help them get employment. They get them, help them get their homes basically manage their lives. But as it was explained to the demonstrators, they aren't the only ones that risk so losing services. Uh, the House and Senate have certainly made deep cuts within their own budgets, though, and uh, definitely within the changes. We understand that there are limited resources. I, I think uh, anybody who reads the paper or watches television knows that there's a budget crisis. Uh, the difference between what we're talking about today and these programs and the other departments of state government is that this affects people's lives. A kind of message that appears to be working. And I oppose these cuts. I don't think that we can leave the people in our society who need the most help uh, uh, out in the code, and I don't intend to do it. But until they can get a majority of lawmakers to feel the same, these protesters have no intention of giving up. If we do not convince the legislature, and perhaps we need to do this as often as possible until the legislature realizes that we will not stand for it. Now, whether the protesters' efforts here at the Capitol work today is sort of a wait and see at this point. What is for certain is that lawmakers are working on a budget with, that is $1.2 million less than last fiscal year. Guys. All right. Thanks, John. And the legislature doesn't have a lot of time left to work on the budget. The next fiscal year begins July 1st.